Hazrat Abdullah bin Umar radhiyallahu ta'ala and who reports in Tirmizi how how disliked lying is that Prophet sallallahu alaihi said that when a bondsman tells a lie the angel goes a mile away from him because of the awful filthy smell or the stench Hazrat Sufyan bin Usaid Hadrami radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports in Abu Dawood the Prophet ﷺ said the most serious form of betrayal of faith is that you tell a lie to a brother while he believes that you are truthful in what you say. So just cheating a person by telling a, a lie and making the person say that you are being truthful is the worst form of betrayal of faith. Hazrat Abu Zar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports in Muslim that Prophet Sallallahu said that there will be three people on whom Allah will neither speak on the day of resurrection nor cast a graceful look or nor will be they be purified of their sins these people are at loss and they will be hopeless who are they Prophet Sallallahu alaihi wasallam told that these out of one of these was the person who did what that while he was making business transactions he used to make a false promise he used to swear falsely to sell his things of a business transactions he used to make false swearing similarly prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said there are words of uh, hadith reported muslim ahmad rimzi and abu daud that the husband Hakim radiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said fire upon him who tells lie to make people laugh who just tells lie to create a situation or to create a conversation and just lies to make people laugh and Hazrat Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports in Muslim it is enough falsehood in a man to go about circulating what he hears from others so this is how this light saying lies is and there was a mother there's an incident that Hazrat Abdullah bin Amir radiyallahu ta'ala who reports in Abu Dawud that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw a woman and uh, she came uh, Hazrat uh, the the companion says that uh, there was a lady with two daughters and uh, she came and she asked the daughters that come quickly I'll give you something and then uh, she uh, she had a date and then she gave it to the children also and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said remember that if you had not given anything to the child after promising to do so a lie would have been written down in your deeds so promising to give something or promising to do something or promising to go somewhere and or swearing by the name of allah and then not fulfilling it is also a form of lie so liars are not only the people who tell lies when they're speaking when they're talking when they're mocking when they're making fun or when they're making uh, any business deal or transaction it is not just lying around number one liar is a person who tells lie but liar is also a person who who likes people who lie and who supports all forms of dishonesty and falsehood and helps all forms of falsehood and then he goes against all forms of honesty and all forms of truthfulness and he dislikes people who are trustworthy and truthful and he goes against them and similarly a person who is truthful is a person who likes all forms of truth and honesty and he supports all form of fair dealings and all forms of truthful people and then he opposes and he stands against all forms of falsehood all forms of unfair dealings and all forms of dishonest my um, uh, manners so this is in detail what a liar is and what an honest and a truthful person and is allahumma ja'alna minhum allah make us one of your truthful and honest and reliable people